Hey, it's Dave Coach. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you live from high atop the palms in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Anyway, PMRE ended last night, and I got to say, it really wrapped up with a bang. Take a selfie and post it to the PMRE Facebook group. We'll select the winning team on day two. Be sure to find your PMRE 3 as quickly as you can. The, the two real estate days were great. There was a lot of really, really good information there and I'm going to review that in a minute. But the third day was commercial and it was just solid, incredible speakers. It was easily the best day of PMRE I have ever done. And, you know, it just, it started really, really good with Alex and learning how to do uh, promotional things with your, with your work. And, you know, just went through, um, boy, Brandon was so incredible, but it ended with Emma Peter, who is just like, just a photographic god. She is just so incredible. And I'm so happy I got to spend some time with her and, uh, you know, and with everybody else. And that's really what PM Marie is all about. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I've pretty much lost my voice. I was out on the strip till about two this morning. Um, and it's, it's about 10 o'clock right now. And everybody's just kind of, oh. but we're going to have, we're going to hit the strip again today. hit sphere tonight. So we should be going along. But what I wanted to share with you was this incredible view. I really, really enjoy being up here. Um, I think, let's see, how do I do this? That black splotch right there, that's Allegiant Stadium, where I said the Oakland Raiders earlier, the Las Vegas Raiders play. And let's see, where else can, what else can we see? Um, that pyramid right there, that's the Luxor and the Mandalay Bay. And let's see what else is up there. Just all kinds of stuff. So the Palms is off the strip a little bit, but you just call up an Uber. You're down there in five minutes. It's a little nasty right now because um, F1's in town. But anyway, I do want to go over some of the highlights, at least what I consider the highlights of the PM Marie conference and let you know what I just in round terms you know what i got out of it and what i thought was so good again big thanks to jody and brandon who just put on just and i i'm blown away every year at how much better it gets and how much work they put in to make this thing happen so oh i want to show you one other thing here's the other palm tower let's see we were in that suite we we did a party there we were all over in there so you know, it really, yeah, lots of fun to be had, lots of work too. And like I said, lots of learning and, uh, you know, we did a lot of really, I even took notes. Wow. Anyway, let's roll into what some of the highlights were of the uh, conference. <laughs> Salt Lake City had a chance to decompress a little bit had you know the flight home to relax but I mean up until this morning we were still meeting different people downstairs in the coffee shop and discussing I mean quite literally we were discussing workshops from yesterday and what we learned from Brandon Barr so the learning just keeps going but let's take a look at the conference day by day and see what we have. Day one was a real estate day. We had uh, early registration and all that, doors open. Then Kelsey Curtis came out and I gotta tell you, Kelsey is one of my favorite people, uh, not just personally, but professionally. Her presentation last year opened my eyes to a lot of really new and different things and different paths that my business could go down and kind of how ramshackle my business really was. And because of her, I focused a lot more and I made my my business a lot smarter because of her. At PMRE, we are partying at PMRE. Hey, we're just in line to get our tickets, but we're at PMRE. Hey! The two energy producers 
Sanders right here, right here. Anyway, she was this year's kind of MC, and obviously did a great job. Um, talked to her a lot out of the 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 conference too, and and was able to get much more from her on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But uh, if you haven't heard or if you don't follow Kelsey Curtis, two K's, Kelsey and Curtis is a K. Follow her on Insta and pick up her book. I've got it upstairs and I read it. Next, Matt from Aereo, State of the Industry. Always a great way to kick off the conference and always very, very uh, instructive. Kind of got an overview of where the industry was going and what, what was going to be happening, what happened the last year and then also kind of what we as photographers are doing. Aereo with all their data can say, you know, we're seeing Matterport's going up, videos going down or whatever the case may be. So it was really cool to get accurate stats on where the industry was going and what people like us are doing. So always very good. Then we had a little vendor happy hour, which gave us all a chance to get up, stretch, walk around and, um, talk with people, you know, pick up ideas, kind of digest what we've already been learning. And then it ended up with uh, Devin's talk. And Devin also is, is one of the people I respect most in this industry. Devin is a very, very, very smart man. And he showed us some videos and um, really got people thinking and uh, you know that's always I think a good thing is to to have any outside perspective coming back and looking at you that night we had just a little bit of a party on top of the palms and I, I don't think we need to go much further into that do we next day again Kelsey welcomed welcomed us in and then Jenna gave her talk on AI. And this was the first one that really shook me up and got me thinking. Uh, Jenna was talking about how we could set up case-specific AI instances, essentially, uh, to do things that we need done in our business, hashtagging, um, things like that. The repetitive tasks that you know are either boring or just suck up a lot of time or can just be um, picked up by the AI. I obviously am going to be looking into that a lot more specifically for this YouTube channel to try and streamline it and make it appeal to more people. She is having a workshop the end of the month on learning AI and it's going to go in depth and I believe it's two days and it's all going to be via Zoom. I, during the course of her presentation signed up for $200. I think for me, that's worth it. Next was the image breakdown by Wayne, Tony and Frazier. And you know, what can I say? I love these guys. They're very good friends and just some of the best photographers in the world. <laughs> They broke down each other's pictures this year, which was kind of a change up. Lots of fun. Then we had a, a really nice um, round table hosted by Reed Fish. And uh, my friend Emily Olman was one of the participants. The rest of the people were all, you know, from Matterport or QB Casa. And it got a little heated. It was, it was fun. David Ward got up and address some issues that really concern all real estate photographers. And while we didn't flesh out an actual solution, I think we've taken the first steps towards doing something industry-wide. And it was because of this conference. So very happy about that. Uh, Beyond Real Estate by Matthew Anderson. Matthew might have said a few disparaging things about me. I don't know. But uh, no, Matthew is a great guy. and. I think Matthew's place in this was the conduit between real estate and commercial, and Matthew fit that perfectly. Matthew has an incredible sense of humor, great sense of style and timing. He's wonderful to listen to, and he's got great insight. So, Matthew, thank you very much. You did a great job. Third day blew me away. That was the day 
that was reserved for commercial. It started out hot and just got hotter. Tony Colangelo was the host on the third day and he came out and introduced Alex Abraham and she started talking about getting published. So if you want to get published by say Architectural Digest or you know one of the magazines, how do you do it? How do you stand the best chance of being published? She covered that and she was really good. Then we had Chris Stacy and Tim Smith, who you may not know the names, but their work is jaw-dropping. Tim is a very, very high-end realtor. Sold a $40 million house last year. You know, well, probably more than one, but at least one, because we saw the video. We wanted to work with the top agents in Orange County. Tim was always on the list of people to interview. We had already seen five or six, and the consensus was 40 was the number to stay away from. And in walks Tim, he says, the biggest mistake you can make on this property is to go under 40. Only, I'm sorry, it's not a video, it was a film, and Chris Stacy made it. And Chris is, you know, he, he's up there with, you know, the Vittorio Serraros and the Vilma Sigmunds of the world. He's just got a great visual style, and he's a wonderful shooter and a nice guy. And, you know, when you get that kind of package together, you just can't help but have great films. And so that was a wonderful talk. Then the roof got blown off. Brandon Barr came in, and Brandon is a hospitality photographer and he showed us some images that just made us all drool and talked a lot about how he achieves those images he ended up he didn't end up it was all planned there was a workshop that he did yesterday and uh, that I believe sold out in like 25 seconds because Brandon just doesn't do that sort of thing and to have him available to do something like that for all of us was incredible and then we ended, oh, oh, then Emma Peter hit the stage. Emma presented last year too, and Emma is just the most unassuming, just in, in many ways a very quiet soul who expresses herself through light. And um, she has, she may have a quiet soul, but she has a big voice behind the camera. And she was extremely inspirational, and her work was is, is second to none, it's just incredible. Then we had a final discussion panel, and then we broke up. Uh, there were, as I said, a bunch of workshops, just to kind of go through these real quick. Tony Wayne and Frazier did a luxury photography. I believe that's probably a two-day. Yeah, it was a two-day. How to Become a Photographer Publicist by Alex was you know pretty much based on her talk. Danny Bertello is a video god, so his masterclass was, I'm sure, wonderful. I didn't go to that. But the Lighting, Shadow, and Air Miles, Mastering Hospitality Photography with Brandon Barr was the ticket that everybody wanted and no one could get. So anyway, that is pretty much what happened there. And all I can tell you is every day, Everyone just grew closer and closer and everybody just, you know, we all shared so many great experiences, the nightlife, everything. I'd probably be remiss if I didn't tell you about one of the ways that we grew our, our social skills, if you want, is uh, the PMRE handed out these little poker chips with numbers on them. You had to find other people with those same numbers, match them up, post them online, and then they drew for a winner, and yours truly won. Dave, where are your new friends? Got a nice little prize out of that. It was fun to win that. Let's see, what were some other things that happened? Um, you know, just on a personal level, I went with a, five of my friends and we went to the Sphere and saw the U2 experience last night and I was totally blown away. That was just so fantastic. And, you know, I'm still a, just a little out of breath because 
you know, in those first three days, I don't think we ever left the poems at all, period. We didn't need to. And it was just so full of so much to inspire us, to keep us going, and to show us how to do what we do better. So again, just to wrap up, the PMRE is just a wonderful group of people who are all there, not just the, the workshop leaders, not just the speakers. Everybody is there to help everybody else. And the friendships that are made there last, you know, eons. There are people from the first one I went to that I'm still on the original text chain with. And we had to change up a couple of text chains during this session because we had to add more people to them. I mean, they're, they're almost getting too big. Um, Wednesday night? No, Thursday night. I did a film for the um, for Wayne, Tony, and uh, uh, from their last workshop, Wayne, Tony, and Fraser's last workshop, and that premiered at the Cuba Casa event on Thursday night. <laughs> That, that was a lot of fun. I got a lot of good feedback from that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I just, again, I, I hate to gush so much, but you know, we spend our whole lives out there, us and a camera and an empty house. And it's sometimes hard to keep yourself motivated and keep yourself going and, and just, you know, being happy with what you do. And that's this once a year is so good for that little kick in the pants you need to keep yourself going and stay inspired and stay working. And if for no other reason than that, I would say it's worth going to. But when you pile on everything else you get out of this, um, there is no single thing you could do more to further your career better than PMRE. That's the end of it. That's I'm just gonna end it there. So thank you very much. I hope you have a great day, a great week. And um, yeah, I kind of lost my voice a little bit. Um, may your next shoot be your best shoot.